Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Why don't you lift up your two hands to him? Lift up your two hands. Thank you, Jesus. Just open your mouth. Begin to speak in tongues for one minute. Open your mouth. Speak in tongues. Come on. Come on. Open your mouth. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues for one minute. Come on. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Speak in tongues. The Bible said, He that speaketh in tongues, speaketh mysteries to God. Come on. Open your mouth. Speak in tongues. Kabo Shataya. Likabrahanda la Bahazotaya. Yendele Boho Shekete. Rabanda la Basikaya Nabadabaha. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands with me. I want every eyes closed. In the book of Psalm 65, the verse number two, the Bible said, Unto him that answered prayer shall all flesh come tonight eternal father your people have gathered before your throne of grace because we need answers in our destinies for every hand that is lifted tonight between now and benediction let our testimonies pour like rain in the name of jesus bless this house in the name of the father and of the son and of the precious holy ghost and everyone who holla a thunderous amen come on let your amen be louder if you believe it you may be seated in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Are you elated to be in the house of the Lord? Come on. Are you excited to be in God's presence? Somebody shall tonight is my night. Well, very quickly, I want us to put our hands together um, and celebrate our inestimable father in absentia. Come on, put your hands together. Let's celebrate our daddy, our papa. Come on, let's rise to our feet. Romans 13, 7, the Bible said, we should render honor to whom honor is due. Let's celebrate papa in his absence. Come on, let's do it better. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for the life of our mother in absentia also. Let's put our hands together. Let's celebrate mommy. I want to thank God for Reverend Stanley. Thank God for Mama Mata. Put your hands together. Let's celebrate them. Help me appreciate Reverend Mike Oche. Come on. Our bona fide resident pastor. Come on, let's celebrate him. Let's appreciate Reverend Elisha and all the senior pastors in the house. Appreciate my colleagues, Pastor Charles and Pastor John. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want to speak to you briefly on a message I've titled, Victory Over the Serpent. Somebody shout, I have victory. Shout it like your voice is yours. I have victory over the serpent. If you don't say it well, you are suspect. Shout it tonight. I will enforce my victory over the serpent. Say any area of my life, the serpent is hiding. By the time this meeting is over, that serpent shall die by fire. Shouted, that serpent shall die by fire. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. I'm sure most of us are wondering which serpent is the man of God talking about. Very soon you will discover that the colossal enemy of the church of Jesus Christ is the serpent. Are you with me at all? The reason why a lot of us in church, we speak in tongues. You know, we are born again. But some way, somehow, things are still not forthcoming. Things are still delaying. It's because of the maneuverings and the activities of the serpent. But hear me, after tonight's meeting, eh, I prophesy with my telescopic eyes, any area of your life, the enemy has hijacked. That devil shall be brought to shame. I said that devil shall be exterminated by fire. Somebody shout, the serpent will die by fire. The reason why some people can't prosper. The reason why some people can't go forward. The reason why some people, you know, can't achieve. It's not because God despises them. It's because the serpent, you know, is agitating their destiny. But after tonight, as we enter into corrosive prayer, any area of your life you are backward, God shall give you your note of victory. I say God shall give you your note of victory. Somebody shout, I have victory over the serpent. Shouted, I have victory over the serpent. You see, right from 
the abinitio right from the beginning god gave man a very clean destiny tell somebody god gave man a clean destiny yes right from the beginning when god created the garden you know god put everything in the garden there, were, there was gold in the garden there was every kind of you know tree every kind of creeping plant every kind of you know blessing you can think of embedded in the garden god came to man god said you know what everything in this garden is yours enjoy it you know to your optimum but this particular tree of knowledge of good and evil let it be a sign of your honor let it be a sign of your veneration to me let it be a sign of your loyalty you can have everything but not this particular tree man said this shouldn't be a big deal so long as we can enjoy other things why should we bother ourselves about just this one so god says so long as you are willing to keep your part of the bargain i will also keep my part of the bargain so it became a contract it became some kind of treaty between god and man man appended the signature god also appended the signature and said from today you will not even ask for anything as you are thinking it i will make it happen for you are you with me at all between now and 31st of this year any area of your life the enemy has hijacked i command your freedom to manifest by fire i say i command your freedom to manifest by fire hallelujah i said hallelujah so no sooner than when that contract was enacted no sooner than when that treaty you know was enacted guess what a strange being invaded the garden and thwarted the purpose of god concerning humanity guess who the strange being was it was the serpent so the purpose or the assignment of the serpent is not necessarily to deny you a good house. It's not necessarily to deny you a good car. The primary assignment of the serpent is to thwart the purpose of God concerning your destiny. But after tonight, I hear in the corridors of heaven, every activity of hell concerning your destiny, it shall backfire by fire. I say it shall backfire by fire. Somebody shout after tonight. I am marching forward. Shouted after this shilo. I am going forward. Hallelujah. Listen, if anybody tells you you were born with a peculiar problem, it's a lie. Right when God put you in your mother's womb, God gave you a clean destiny. Nobody entered his mother's womb with any peculiar enigma. You didn't enter your mother's womb with poverty. You didn't enter your mother's womb with any cares. Are you with me at all? God gave every child of God an alluring destiny. Are you with me at all? When you read Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God said, oh boy, Jerry, come here. When you were clothed of blood in your mother's womb, I knew you. I ordained you a prophet even before you were born. So God was simply saying, Jeremiah, the kind of destiny I'm giving you eh, is unsullied destiny. There is no blemish. There is no spot. Am I talking to somebody at all? But Jeremiah, when you begin to grow, it is your onus. It is your responsibility to fight the serpent. Because if you don't fight the serpent, the serpent will fight you. Are you with me at all? You hear me? No matter how anointed you are no matter how tongue talking you are if you don't discover this disclosure this revelation and begin to fight the serpent in this rigorous prayer and fasting my dear you will keep receiving prophecy you will prosper but you will never prosper you will keep receiving prophecy that you will go forward but you cannot go forward why because there is a serpent you must terminate and after this conference after this prayer and fasting any serpent holding your miracle any serpent holding your marriage any serpent holding your conception after tonight that serpent shall die by fire your amen is looking for my trouble if your amen is the loudest your breakthrough will be special hallelujah i said hallelujah somebody shall fire somebody shall fire when you read luke chapter 10 the verse 19 the bible said behold i give unto you power i give unto you authority to trample over serpents and scorpions eh? and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you don't forget the serpent here is not a reference to the reptile in the bush the serpent here is not talking about the snake you and i see and we run away from the serpent here is the colossal enemy of your destiny 
The serpent is the reason why you have gotten to the apogee of marriage. But no man is proposing marriage. The serpent is the reason why you have certificate, you have masters, you have doctrine, and yet you still look impoverished. The reason why is because of the serpent. But hear me, after tonight, the tables are turning around. I hear in the corridors of heaven, between now and 31st, God shall give you a dazzling testimony. God shall prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Sir. I prophesy over 83 of you, between now and the next 48 hours, sir. may God hit you with a miracle. May God hit you with a testimony. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, you were trample of a serpent. Do you hear me? The word trample here in the original language simply means to match. We don't match in the flesh. In 2 Timothy, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4, he said, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. You hear me? Tonight, as we enter into corrosive prayer and you take some prophetic steps, any area of your life, the serpent has incarcerated. Any area of your life, the serpent has cornered you. As you take prophetic steps tonight in prayer, I see you enter your father's house. I see you enter your mother's house. Anybody that is saying 2019, you will not end the year in grand style. I came to tell them, let God arise uh, and let every enemy of your destiny scatter by fire. I prophesy over your life uh, that between now and end of this year, the car you are looking for, you will get that car by fire. The opportunity you are looking for, you will get that opportunity by fire. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give somebody a high five. Tell the person, I have victory over the serpent. Listen, 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 listen. Don't let anybody bamboozle you. Don't let anybody swindle you into thinking eh, that the reason why you are not going forward is because you have some unique problem. It's a lie. Eh? Anybody that is doing well, it's a prophetic indication that if you also position yourself well, you can also succeed. Hear me? Nobody, nobody becomes prosperous by accident. Nobody enters into superfluous favor by accident. Are you with me at all? That is why in John chapter 8, the verse 32, the Bible says, you shall know the truth. It is the truth you know that makes you. Are you with me at all? Hear me? If God's word cannot metamorphose you, prophecy can change you. Are you with me at all? The greatest prophecy of life is the intrinsic word of God. If what I'm preaching cannot change your mindset, eh, you cannot renew your mind and begin to see yourself as a prosperous man, as a prosperous woman, that no devil in your father's house, in your mother's house can hijack you. My dear, then prophecy cannot change you. Because prophecy is inferior to God's word. Hear me, sir. I like to prophesy. I like to mention somebody's name. Go into the nitty gritty of your family. But I've also come to discover that the greatest prophecy of life is the word of God. It's the word of God. If God's word cannot deliver you, sir, prophecy cannot deliver you. Prophecy is the junior brother to the undiluted word. Prophecy could toss to God's word. Are you with me at all? It is children that will be looking for prophecy. Are you with me at all? We are not saying prophecy is not good. Though. But if you have God's way, eh, even Bible allows you to judge prophecy. He said, discern all spirit. The reason why we can't discern is because we are not eating the word of God. When you read John chapter 5 verse 39, the Bible said, the Bible says, search out the scriptures. Search it out. Why? Because inside the scripture is eternal life. We are not making time, possible time, for the undiluted word. That is why it will look like the devil is powerful. Hear me? The devil is not powerful anywhere. After tonight, we will put him where he belongs. Am I prophesying to somebody? If I be a true man of God, I prophesy in this house of grace that between now and end of this one, we have some few days. You will be jumping with your testimony. Your amen is looking for my trouble. You will be jumping with your car. You'll be jumping with your promotion. You'll be jumping with your favor. Somebody shall fire. Shake your legs. Shall fire. Jump on your feet. Shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Somebody shout, I have victory over the serpent. It is the truth you know that makes you. Listen, listen. The Bible said every other thing will pass. Prophecy will pass. Healing will pass. By his undiluted word, it abided forever. Listen, when you meet a man or a woman eh, that is eating the word of God, God said to Joshua, in Joshua 1.8, he said, oh boy, this book of the law, this book, eh, if you can meditate on this crow day and night, oh boy, even if they don't give you detail, detail prophecy, I can guarantee you, you will prosper. Your way will be success. Why? Because the power is in the undiluted word. Hear me, tonight, the reason why, hear me, every one of you sitting here, you carry prophecy. I say you carry prophecy. Hey, the word of God you keep receiving from daddy every Sunday from all the men of God is prophecy. Prophecy is simply God's word. <laughs> Listen, when there was stagnancy eh, in Jerusalem during the days of Atasasis, all the prophets came together and they began to prophesy so that the building of the temple eh, will manifest. Prophecy comes to help your life. Prophecy is simply God's word. So when you receive God's word, you have received prophecy. And the reason why you can never die on timely death, because on daily basis, you are receiving the intrinsic word. And God cannot lie. He says, so shall my word go forth. So if his word goes out, and it doesn't accomplish the purpose of you becoming a billionaire, eh, that word cannot return to him. If God has said to you by his word, that you will prosper and you don't prosper it means God lied and God cannot lie so why you cannot die eh? it's not because one witch is looking for you why you cannot die is because your head carries prophecy and the prophecy is your nostalgia for the word of God unfortunately today we have believers who don't spend time on God's word we don't spend time that's why any wind of doctrine can blow us Tell somebody, go back to the intrinsic word. That is where the power is. Listen, people who don't carry God's word in them, they have no quarrel with the devil. The reason why the devil is backing and is after your life is because you are a carrier of the intrinsic word. Is somebody following me at all? I just heard in the spirit, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. Get ready. Not less than 70 of you. In the next 24 hours, huh, you will return to this house with a testimony. Receive your own portion. I said receive your own portion. In 24 hours, somebody will get a car. In 24 hours, somebody will get financial favor. Somebody shout, I am the one. Let, let me show you something. Give me Revelation chapter 12. Let's read from verse 7. Revelation chapter 2. Somebody say, I have victory. Shout it, I have victory. If you don't say it, well, we'll leave you behind. Shout it, I have victory. Over the serpent. Give me Revelation chapter 12. I want us to read something very quickly. I want to show you where the serpent emanated from. Are you with me at all? The serpent didn't come from your family. The serpent didn't come from my family. In fact, the serpent existed even before the Garden of Eden emerged. Are you with me at all? You see, follow me meticulously because this disclosure is vital. When you know some of these things, eh, it makes life very sweet. Am I a bravo to say a war? It's when you don't know some of these things, it will look like the devil is powerful. Hear me. When you meet him, tell him I said it. He's as useless as yesterday. Say, I hear. What makes you talk like this is the word of God. Eh? You are Holy Ghost, your tongue talking. But look at how sometimes you go to sleep. And your own jacket are done. Why do jacket are saying? Oh, no way to light. About 2 a.m. No any boss were. It's a ready to you. It's a sign you don't know Bible. At your level, when you are going to use the restroom, at 2 a.m. SM ko fo ko jao. And then in show talk. In two ko jina wa our restroom. Now this is a potrobi a war. Was the blood of Jesus? You are wasting the blood. Give me verse seven. Verse 7, quickly, we don't have time, please. And there was what? Come on, read it with me like an evangelist. And there was, and there was, 
Wow. Look at me. Hear me. There is no institution in life that is sophisticated like heaven. There is no institution in life that is organized like heaven. And yet heaven, where God Almighty is, there was war. So once in a while, when you go through some enigma, when you go through some problems, it's normal. It's normal. Is somebody following me at all? It's normal. Sometimes when you go through disappointment, it's normal. Hey? The road to go gotta. Jesus suffered. So this journey of following Christ, there is a place where you go through momentary suffering. Ah, is it not Jesus that said in John chapter 16 verse 33, in the world there will be enigma, there will be problem but be of good cheer but he mentioned problem first David said yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow, so before the guy ascended the throne, he had to go through the valley of the shadow of death so sometimes when you go through problem don't make it look like the men of God are not powerful it's part of life Hear me, problems don't come to destroy you. Problems come to give you experience. Problems come to increase your height. Problems, listen, are not destination. They are only passage. Is somebody following me at all? So if there was problem in heaven, it is normal. When once in a while you and your wife, you have some squabble, it's normal. Once in a while you argue, it's normal. It's normal. That's what is normal. There was war in heaven. Look at it. Michael and his angels fought against who? And the dragon fought and what? Continue reading. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore where? Continue. And the what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you hear? Look at me. Can you see the adjectives that were used here? This is the devil they are describing. Eh? See the description, the adjective they use. Great dragon. In the man in your said you see down. You still have victory. Because this devil you are fighting and confronting. Master on your lazy sir. You won't pay and you won't pay. Are you with me at all? Look at the description. Old serpent. One can say now serpent. Old. Before our great grandparents were born. No. He knows the history of everybody in the family. There are agents. There are familiar spirits he operates with. Are you with me at all? That's why in this life, you must walk in this life with utmost meekness. Because there is nothing you have that is new under the sun. What can you receive if God didn't give you? A man can receive nothing except given to you from above. Oh, serpent! He's not a now serpent. Look at what he does. Which deceived the whole world. Pastor Mike, this is the reason why sometimes I've had those experiences. You minister to a child of God. You tell the person, God, will, your, this your case is temporal. I see, I see prodigious exploits at the end of the tunnel. I see stupendous results. What can one tell us here? Why? Because the serpent keeps whispering to their ears. Can I prosper? At my age, can I get a husband? At my age, can I conceive? There is deception because of the maneuverings of the serpent. But tonight, anything you are told, but your spirit couldn't believe it. After tonight, that serpent whispering to your ears, that serpent will die tonight. I said that serpent will die tonight. There is deception. Listen. If there is any generation that is suffering from deception, it's this generation. Because a lot of folks in church don't have discernment anymore. You know what God said? He said you will know them not by their gift, by their fruit. Most of us, our private life and our public life is not synonymous. If I preach against adultery, I shouldn't be contrary. Are you with me at all? God forbid, if I fall as a man of God, it shouldn't make me compromise my message. I should still preach and say adultery is wrong. There is so much deception. 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 
Now I'm sorry, man, sweet to that man too. Because what they are doing, no matter just won't do that. Deception, and some people believe he can fly. Quite recently, I went to do a programming. I see this command say, when I was coming, he was on the flight. Now I'm busy and say, I don't know, Jack, who flew plane? Now only two the outside flew plane here. Then deception. I was in South Africa some few months ago, and there was a church that makes people eat grass. There's a church that makes people eat snakes. There's a church that makes people drink petrol. And they have crowds. Deception. It's a sign that we are in the last days. And more beyond that, oh, it is this generation that will see rapture, not another generation. The way I think I'm so moody, I'm grown. Trumpet, people, boom, I'm around. That is why you have to belong to a church that teaches God's word. That is where the secret is. They say magic, not dorsal. I'm teaching you deception. Look at it. Go back. I'm rounding up. The whole world. And he was cast into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Immediately he hit earth. This is where the, the mishaps and the enigmas of man began. This is where the problems of our lives began. Let me give you a little history. Don't forget, when you become born again, eh? how many of us are born again? If you are not sure, don't raise your hand. How many of us are born again? Okay, when you become born again, we go back to the garden. What did I say? We go back to the garden of Eden. Don't forget that in the Old Testament, the garden of Eden eh, was physical. But in the New Testament, the Garden of Eden is spiritual. Don't forget, in the Old Testament, the Garden was called Eden. But in the New Testament, the Garden is Christ. Follow this teaching. In the Old Testament, the Bible said there was gold, there was food, there was everything in the Garden. Are you with me at all? When you also enter Christ, the Bible said in Second Peter, I think one verse three, he said, according, uh, according to his divine power, has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. When you read First Timothy 6, 17, he said, in Christ, he has given us all things richly to enjoy. So just as in the garden, they enjoy. When you are inside Christ, you also enjoy. When you read Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, so Christ is a spiritual entity. Christ is a spiritual location. Hear me. No matter how anointed our father is, we cannot be inside daddy. Are you following me at all? We can worship with daddy. But we can't enter him. But in Christ, you can enter. That's why in Acts of the Apostle 17, the verse 28, he said in him we live. We are inside him. So we are not regulated by the economy of Ghana. We are regulated by the economy of heaven. Am I talking to somebody at all? So we are inside Christ. So Christ is a spiritual location. Okay, let's go deeper. You remember in the Garden of Eden, when God was giving the instructions to man, the woman was not there. The woman was not there. You remember? The instructions were given to the man. When the man, when the woman ate the fruit, you notice that God was not angry. No, check your Bible. When, I, when Eve ate the fruit, Eve was the one that ate the fruit first. Was God infuriated? Was God angry? Why? Because God is a just God. He gave the first hand information to the man. And it was the man's onus. It was the man's responsibility to teach the wife. It's every man's responsibility to teach your wife. That's why those of us who are, you know, um, spinsters, when you are looking for a man to marry, look for a man that can teach you God's word. Not a man that has his back. Look for a man that can teach you God's way. That's where the secret is. Hey, one day, I have a church in Lagos. I called them and said, when you are looking for a man to marry, who, what will you look out for? One of my daughters, I felt, has the Holy Spirit. Got up. I thought she was going to talk sense. I said, Daddy, me there, me per bema or kojim. I said, trans, let go on you too. I said, Jim, and a man, what are you when you are looking for somebody to marry, look for a man that can
can teach you God's word. If the man has a car, it's an addition. So only car name for discern his future. See a a man, diligent in his ways. He may not start with Range Rover, but at the end of the tunnel, he could drive a Range Rover. Stop judging people by their beginning. Why? Because no beginning is popular. No beginning is popular. When I started preaching and doing ministry, nobody knew me. Today, when people see you on major bill bus, you are with Dr. Tampia Coffee, you are preaching for ICG City, they think I just got there. No, it doesn't happen on a silver platter. When I was struggling, nobody discovered me. No beginning is popular. It's your name, did that. I mean, did that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them may come and say. So, the instruction was given to the man. Not the woman. So, the woman ate the fruit. Why? Because God was waiting for the man to teach the woman. But guess what? Immediately, can I get some? A young lady. Selassie, come, come, come. Come. I know her. When you say, I'm going to eat her. 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 She said, I'm going to eat her. I'm going to eat her. campus church in those years no a member into an india maker see i here so this is adam this is eve gideon come you are going to act as the serpent stand here follow this graphical picture i'm showing you it's very vital so the woman ate the fruit god was macho come god was not angry stand here Look at me. So when the woman ate the fruit, God was still okay. Immediately the man ate it. God entered the garden. God was angry. God was hurt. As much as he loved us, you have breached the treaty. You have breached the contract. So as just as God is, he had to enforce the consequences, the ramifications of your actions. Are you with me at all? So God said, come. As much as I love you, Adam, as much as I love you, Eve, come. You can't stay in this garden. The headquarters of destiny. You cannot be here again. So God escorted the man and the wife out of the garden. Let's go. But guess what? You have not thought about it. The person that deceived them, he was left in the garden. So this is why we, we suffer. Because he, when man and his wife fell, he took the key of authority in the garden. No, check your Bible. The, the serpent was never driven out. He took over. That is why when Jesus was born, in Matthew chapter 4, you remember when he was led to the mountain to be te tempted, after he had fasted and prayed, one of the things the serpent said, that this whole world is mine. If you can kuto to me. I'll... Jesus never said he was telling a lie. Even Jesus described the serpent as the prince of this world. Come it. But he has nothing in me. He recognized he was the prince. Why? Because your agent man handed over the key of authority to the devil. So man and the wife were escorted. Guess what? In John chapter 12 verse 31, the Bible said, now is the judgment of this world. The prince of this world is cast out. In our case, we were escorted. Are you with me at all? In our case, as much as God was not happy, he still saw us out of the garden. But look at what happened. When Jesus died, and after the third day Jesus resurrected, the Bible said, now is the judgment of this world. This guy, this serpent, that took what belonged to you and I, eh? some of the blessings we are supposed to enjoy, we are not supposed to fight for it. We are supposed to get it without struggle. But because of this serpent, see how one visa, we can suffer to get one visa. See how one financial favor, we can suffer to get it. It's because of this serpent. But when Jesus died, and after the third day, the Bible said it was judgment. This guy, this serpent, he was not escorted. He was cast out. When you cast out, it means you were booted. Why? Because now we are born again. What we lost in Adam, we have gotten it back through Jesus. Are you with me at all? That is why tonight, whatever we lost, we are enforcing our victory over the devil and his cohorts. Receive your victory. Receive your victory. Sit down. Sit down. Somebody shout, I have victory. Shout it, I have victory. In Exodus chapter 4, put it on the screen for me. I end with this last scripture. Somebody shout, I have victory. Listen, after tonight, eh, 
you will not be afraid of any devil again. Say, I hear, I hear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You have victory in Christ. The blood of Jesus is very stupendous, very mercurial. You can apply that blood. You can apply it. You can apply it. Huh? When you find people talking boldly and confidently, it's not pride. It's because they have caught revelation. Listen, by the grace of, how can I be a bona fide son of daddy, Reverend Steve Mensah? And by God's grace, whatever I'm doing today and at any apogee I find myself in ministry is because I imbibed some experiential erudition from his ministry. I, I learned a lot of things from him. Are you with me at all? So I am enjoying ministry because I imbibe some positive things. Okay, if I'm indeed a bona fide son of Reverend Steve, eh, and God is using me mightily, how can somebody carry my photograph eh, to a native doctor, to a shrine? Ah, No, my frame is spirit. Kingsley, Kingsley, na my spirit eba. And na Bible um kanu kre. Any day um be frame my spirit. Why would they come from? Who on the spot? Who am I me? I prophesy tonight. After tonight's teaching, because you are rediscovering who you are in Christ, any secret meeting against your life, they shall die by fire. I said they shall die by fire. Ah, those of you here, find an archery. Archery, come, come. I see a huge sword. Come to me. I see a huge sword. Who did you yeah. Give me Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4. Kabaya. Where do you tell me? My name is for the watcher. There is a major assignment on your life. I'm telling you. There is a strong prophetic grace on your life. Exodus chapter 4. Listen. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, the Lord had not appeared unto me. Look at me. You are talking to God Almighty. Moses. Remember Moses was frustrated. Moses had forgotten his assignment. He had lost his destiny and his bearing in life. Very, very, you know, fragile at this juncture. Then God appeared to him. He said, oh boy, I want you to go to Egypt. Go and tell that bad boy, Pharaoh, that let my people go so that they can worship me. Guess what Moses said? Moses said, sir, if I go, they won't believe me. Ah, who believe me? I should just walk to the palace. Tell Pharaoh, I am sent by God. Let my people know. Oh, come on. God said, ah, I am God. What are you talking about? God said, okay, if worse come to us, put your hands in your pocket. Moses put his hands in his pocket. Then Moses brought, God said, bring your hand, bring your hand out. When he brought his hand, his hand had become leprous. Am I right? God said, put your hands back. He put his hands back. God said, bring it out. The hand had restored. God said, when West comes to West, I will show Pharaoh signs and wonders. He will let my people go. Moses said, who in this day and era, who will believe leprosy go, leprosy come? It's not enough. Okay, apart from that, me, I'm a stammerer. By the time I stand before Pharaoh, they will slap me and apprehend me. God said, ah, what's wrong with you? I am talking to you as God and you are arguing with me. The problem was not Moses. Let me show you what the problem was. The Lord said, Unto him, what is in thy hand? Guess his response. What did he say? What did he say? A rod. God said to you, it's a rod. But this thing you are carrying is the reason why you are arguing with me. This is why we argue with God. God says, I will bless you. God says, you will prosper. You are like, God, how many times have they not said this? Eh? I've given tithe. I've given first fruit. I've paid. I've done this. Lord, when will I prosper? God is the one saying you will prosper. A thousand day is like a day before the Lord. A thousand day is like a day before the Lord. In God, nothing is late. He said, what is in your hands? Look at what he said. He said, it's just a rod. God said, okay, you think it's a rod. Drop it. Go to the next verse. And he said, cast it on the ground. Immediately he cast it on the ground. It became what? It became what? It became what? So this is why he was arguing with God. Look at what happened. When he became a serpent, what happened? Moses fled. There's a difference between flee and run. See the Bible says, when Jeremiah flee, one can say run. When the Bible says flee, it means run without thinking. You have to do a nuclear fatigue. Now they are better. 
Because we didn't turn our buttons, I'll be tearing. Yes. Was it flee? Uwe Jamaya, flee. You can't speak in tongues. Several years ago, when I was combining pastoring and I was also working, I was a manager in the mines in Obuasi. I remember one time some expatriates came down from South Africa. And when they came, those guys were bad boys. They told some lady, they said, Akwe wine ho sofu sofu. The person who is in the ship, ah, me to one and no more count. Omo can be a way, yeah, omunya koi. I'm a coffee lady, I'm so miserable. The omo can be a yano cray, mean can't send me more things, ah, so we meet my imagery. Does it mean I don't have anointing? No, it's wisdom. We share something here, Busan. Eh, wisdom. Me koka chere se me sirawa me intu challenge biya. Nye se chere me hotel. Eh, shab bathroom. No one boy ura ona easy. The omo kani ni na me mfuaso. Facha me. We na me pay skaka kakra na me di chere no. Ko phone we na ma solve problem ni ni na. Nye ho na me ba be chere na me me kalaba kutaya. Was he flee? Wouldn't say problem, but now about tongues. Am I teaching somebody at all? Moses fled. Why? Because he had seen the serpent. No, can you imagine the denigration, the disrespect? Now, I dare not know what I would And when I Moses, so true me, Kakratan, you same boat. Now, what do Just because of the serpent. It was not an ordinary rod. The serpent was the reason why he couldn't accept what God was telling him. God said, This serpent, if it's because of him you are running away, eh, I will show this, I will teach this serpent a lesson. He said, Moses, take it by the tail. Say, if you want to kill a snake, if the best place to kill a snake is by holding the tail, it's not true. You must kill it from the head. If Moses had killed it from the head, it will look like, but everybody can do this. God said, Moses, handle it by the tail. Immediately Moses held it by the tail. It became wood. So the thing you are running away from, Bible so Bible to say jata, so jata. The thing you are running away from, it is not what you think you, it is. Are you with me at all? The very thing you are afraid of, after tonight, as God gives you victory over the serpent, it shall become wood in your hands. I say, it shall become wood in your hands. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Lift up your two hands. Say, my father, my father. Shouted, my father, my father. Tonight, as my hands are lifted, as my hands are lifted, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Any area of my life, any area of my life, the serpent has hijacked. The serpent, the serpent has cornered. The serpent, by thunder, by fire. By thunder, by fire. I scatter. I scatter. I scatter. I scatter. Say, my father. I scatter. Tonight. Tonight. I enter my father's house. I enter my father's house. I enter my mother's house. I enter my mother's house. Any area. Any area. The serpent. The serpent is operating. Is operating by the superior blood. By the spirit of God. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. I terminate. I terminate. I terminate. I terminate. By fire. By fire. By fire. Clap your hands and begin to pray.
Watcha, watcha,
your two hands. We are taking our last but one prayer. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Tonight. Tonight. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy that between now. Between and now. And end of this year. And the end of this year. Any man. Any man. Any woman. Any woman. Holding my miracle. Holding my miracle. Holding my breakthrough. Holding my breakthrough. Any man. Any man. The serpent is operating. Serpent is operating. Using against me. Using against, using against my miracle. Using against my, using against my testimony. Using against my testimony. Tonight. Tonight, tonight, when I clap my hands, I, 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 I open fire. I open fire. Say, Lord, between now and end of this year, I will have my testimony. I will have my breakthrough. In these 14 days of prayer and fasting, whatever has delayed in my life, in my life, in my destiny, in my business, tonight, as I clap my hands, I release it. I release it by fire. By fire, clap your hands and begin to release it. Somebody shall die by fire. Die, die by fire. Shout it, die by fire. Die by fire. So everything I say, that's your response. Say, I hear. I hear. Shout it, die by fire. Die, die by, by fire. fire. Serpentine spirit. Serpentine. Die. Spirit of manipulation. Die by fire. Spirit of delay. Die by fire. Spirit of poverty. Die by fire. Spirit of backwardness. Die by fire. Spirit of infirmity. Die by fire. Spirit of high blood pressure. Die by fire. Spirit of diabetes. Die by fire. Spirit of untimely death. Die by fire. Give the Lord a shout. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Two more to go. Somebody shall die by fire. Die, die by, by fire. fire. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Suddenly in the realm of the spirit, I see a very thick cloud. I see a very thick cloud. Who is the angel? There is a young man. Corridor hall. So be now more January 21. Who is the angel? Be a peer corridor hall. Obi now more in 21. January 21. Who is the angel? Be a Krabana Kessia. Who is January 21? Obi Anamo. Who is the angel? Be now. Busani pakro jina ose wa January twenty one. Me unse nyami babe ye. Ni pakro no be thirty years. Nyami babe lifting no. Kabashaya. Lift up your hands. We will figure it out. Lift up your hands. There was nobody on the corridor. Onye thirty years. Lift up your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it, my father, my father. My father, my father. Tonight, tonight, by the superior blood, by the superior blood, I decree and declare. I decree, I decree and declare. Whoever, 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 whoever is fighting my destiny, fighting my destiny. Tonight, 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 you will die by fire. Die, die by, by fire. fire. Lift up your hands. Anything I say, scatter by fire. Somebody shall scatter by fire. Scatter, scatter by, by fire. fire. Now a corridor is you on the corridor. Or January 21st. Yes. <laughs> Lift up your hands. We'll come back to him. Lift up your hands. Somebody shall die by fire. Die by fire. Shout it, die by fire. Die, die by, by fire. fire. The lady in white, come to me. And who's be the key? Air tones them. No, the one there. Come. Come. You, you, you. Yes, come. Come. Anything that was yours that somebody was snatching from you. Are here in the corridors of faith in this season. Whatever was a missing link, you are receiving it. Take Jesus. it. Take it. 
Somebody shall die by fire. Spirit of delay. Spirit of disappointment. Spirit of smallness. Spirit of diabetes. High blood pressure. Spirit of poverty. Satanic manipulation. Serpent time manipulation. Satanic prophecy. Spirit of untimely death. Give the Lord a shout. The guy behind the camera, the guy behind the camera, video, come, come to me, come, thank you, Holy Ghost, <laughs> lift up your hand, in the realm of the spirit, I saw you wearing a black cloth, and it was not somebody connected to you, but it's, I mean, it's not somebody directly connected to you, but it's a friend that was very soon, if we don't pray, is going to be bereaved. Somebody very close to him. And we say, Susum, Omaye Bibieri, to take the life of somebody very close to this guy. And apparently, in the realm of the spirit, as one person would be with a cancer, and money pakron, and you will be obeying Papa. When you make a such term, see a mom pie. We are using you as a point of contact. Whatever the enemy is cooking in the corridors of darkness. Concerning anybody that is close to you, I use you as a point of Jesus contact. Name. And I profess, hi, that person will not die in the name yes. of Jesus. Jesus' name. I see a bomb fire. Lift up your hands. Somebody shall scatter by fire. Scatter, scatter by, by fire. fire. Shout is scatter by fire. Scatter by, by fire. Spirit of untimely death. Scatter by, by fire. Spirit of infirmity. Scatter by fire. Spirit of cancer. Scatter by fire. Spirit of high blood. Scatter by fire. High blood pressure. Scatter by fire. Spirit of poverty. Scatter by fire. Spirit of closed doors. Scatter by fire. Ancestral curses. Scatter by fire. Demonic manipulation. Scatter by fire. Satanic prophecy. Scatter by fire. Give the Lord a shout. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Whatever you are, just begin to thank him tonight. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Thank you, Lord. Yes, oh, my friend. Are you with me at all? Stretch forth your hand towards him. We've been able to decode where we are going. We are, we are using him as a point of contact. That God should tamper justice with mercy. Wherever the problem is emanating from, we send fire to send that. Open your mouth, clap your hands and pray. It's the same yesterday, tomorrow and forever. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, we are asking God that in this end time God will use him mightily. Yeah. Spiritually, 
Na insa na misha e Yesu Christo insa. Na asuma ni ame kachere misa. Obema ni unique grace. Your depth into the repertory word will be different. Are you with me at all? Stretch forth your hand towards him. You will not just carry the prophetic grace, but you will be a very stupendous teacher of God's word. From tonight, the Lord said, your eyes will open. You will see things from a different perspective. Open your mouth, begin to pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. Makaba shatakata da brasha hava rante bosha hava ande bose he bosha rados ende brosha hava yada baga dala baza halagada randa ba ze bosha andiri payada da 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 bosha hava in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my kuzi papa Jesus I'm hanky or something I want to give him my own straight for your hand towards him straight for your hands we are praying to God that this sword. Because it was the sword I saw, and I saw the name Ochre. Ochre. O T C H E. Sana Ochre in it here. Good. Because that's what I saw. In fact, if you like, talk to your mom. Everything about your bed eh, was mysterious. You know. Yeah, because we are October 30th. We are 30th October. But in the realm of the spirit, even before you were born, God had already decided that there is special grace for ministry. There are a lot of things you attempt. You will not succeed. But when you answer to the call, you will see success emanating in your life. Stretch forth your hand towards him. Yeah. Ah, there is a woman here. Don't come out. Don't come out. You have serious problem. In fact, as we are talking now, you have been bleeding for a very long time. It's like the thing is not... When a woman is menstruating, after some time, the thing should expire. But in your own case, when you came into the meeting tonight, you said, Lord, if for nothing, let me receive my healing tonight. Don't come out. What I'm saying to you, when you go home, just look for a bottle of water. Say this water is turned into the power of the Holy Ghost. As you drink that water, that problem will dispire and expire for the rest of your life. I'm telling you, she's somewhere here. I saw an angel there working it out. Straight forward to Hunter was here. Father, I put this mantle on him. In the last 17 years, you have not dishonored me once. The same grace you put on my life. The same impartation I received from my inestimable father, Reverend Steve Mensah. I put it on him also. Any door you have opened for me in life, open the same door for him. Jesus. Let his eyes open. Yes, Let his ears open. Jesus. Use him in this end time. Yes, Make him a holiness preacher. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive that grace. Because I had pray for Solomon, pray for Henry. I will lift them at the same level. Unim Solomon. You are Solomon. Ah. God is going to lift you guys on another level. Jack, maybe a bona fide. In case you need me, eleven years ago, I'm with you. I'm with you. So for what? And things are not bad. I am an instrument. So how so consecration? We are then tired. Because spiritually, we must say gold dust. A jaru unyina, and not just you. This Henry too is carrying the same grace. Aye, aye, te, aye, te, aye, te. Is that your name, Solomon? Everything is done. After tonight, you are stepping into an unusual realm of financial harvest. Stretch forth your hand towards him. Is he in church? Is he a member of this church? Oh, he's a member, but he's not here. Tell him. Tomorrow, tell him to come. Because tomorrow, I'm preaching grace for money. So tell him to come. Because what would you is here? Stretch forth your hand towards him. Tomorrow, I beg you, when you are coming, come with your personal bottle of oil. Tell him to also come with his personal bottle of oil. Listen, if God truly called me, Eh? 2020 first quarter you will wake up one of the days and you will be crying and it will not be tears of sorrow it will be tears of joy money will become a servant in your life you know why? because you are a good man you have a good heart there are things you have done in secret that say yes the Lord this is the season to reward you openly stretch forth your hand towards him stretch forth your hand we are releasing financial favor 
upon his life and upon the life of Henry. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, pray, pray. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, financial grace, in the name of Jesus, be released upon in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Mandaba, Shahalabosha, Rados, Apa, Yakadu, Zandalaba, Shahaba, Rados, in the name of Jesus, Shandalabo, Zibu, Shahalabo. Stretch forth your hand towards him. This was the one I saw, I saw an angel. Suddenly, I see something like the map of Ghana. I see something like the map of Ghana. But yeah, they are permitted here. I see it like in a, in a form of a, an apparel, a cloth. And I mean, when we say angels, me, you know, at the air And the Lord said to me, tell him, delay is not denial. The Lord said, if there is any year you will see his goodness, he should look at 2020. God said, I will, when we say, Suddenly, we free car, bimu, a raka, fufro. Nami e babe onano from a strange source. The thing is not coming from where he's expecting. The thing is coming from. Mamu se obi, I develop a sudden interest in him. And mamu se abrofos, we develop an interest in him. There is something about him that God is going to use and is going to bring great people, destiny helpers, into his life. Stretch forth your hand towards him. I put this oil on you. From tonight, we prepare you for the coming year. In 2020, you will enter into superfluous financial favor. Any man, any woman that must discover you in this season, no more delay. No more delay. Anything that limited you from your background, I crush it by fire. Stretch forth your hand towards him. We are praying in two minutes that anything from his father's side that is frustrating his lifting tonight, we command it to catch fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, we crush it in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Anything in the name of Jesus from your father's background, in Jesus' name, O Lord, crush by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God. Father, I release this next level in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, thank you tonight. Say, Lord, thank you tonight. Say, between now and end of this year, any level you want to take me to, after this prayer and fasting, I enter that level. Pray that prayer for 10 seconds. Pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Listen. How many of you believe Jesus is here tonight? How many of you believe Jesus is here tonight? How many of you believe you are living here as a victor? How many of you believe you have enforced your victory over the devil? Listen, I just heard in my spirit that I should give some folks some envelopes. I want you to look for 100 Ghana CD. Are you with me at all? The seed, you are, you are, the envelope you are taking from me, and you are, if you can do it now, that's okay. But if you cannot do it tomorrow night, you can bring the envelope. What you are simply saying is, Lord, this, uh, this seed I'm giving you is an anticipatory thanksgiving to say thank you for victory over the serpent. Are you with me at all? Are you with me at all? Anybody like that, come to me. Come to me. Because there is some victory God has given you tonight. Come to me. Pick an envelope for me for 100 CD. If you can do it, and that's okay. If you cannot, tomorrow you night, you can bring it. Come to me very quickly. I'll pray for you. You will see the goodness of God. Come to me. You come to me. Come to me. Look for 100 Ghana CD. I'm not asking for people who have money. I'm asking for people who have faith. That after tonight, you have entered another level. Come to me very quickly. Father, I saw these envelopes in the blood of Jesus. For everyone that takes an envelope from me, let it be a sign to heaven that they have enforced their victory over the devil and their cohorts. Let them begin to experience miracles. Not once, Lord, have you dishonored me. Anywhere I have stood and I have spoken to your people and given them instructions as you have given me. Lord, out of that arena, always bring for signs and wonders. 
tonight for anyone that takes an envelope from me in 24 hours let them hear good news in Jesus mighty name amen please when you take the envelope don't sit down so I pray a generic prayer very quickly look for 100 CD I heard it in my spirit 100 CD some of you get ready in less than 24 hours you will hear good news I'm telling you 100 Ghana seed, that's what I heard. Let them plant that anticipatory seed. 100 seed. 100. If you can do it now, that is okay. If you cannot, the instruction is latest tomorrow night. You bring it here. Come to me very quickly. I'm closing. But I need to do this. Instructions are also vital. The Bible said, believe also in his prophet. Second Chronicles 2020. And you will enter prosperity. And tomorrow night, I beg you, don't miss service. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be teaching on grace for financial favor, grace for money. Everybody, don't be religious. Whether you like it or not, you need money in a certain area of your life. Are you with me at all? And tomorrow, God has given me a unique disclosure. I'm going to be sharing with you because tonight, the serpent has been defeated, so the door is open for us to enjoy financial favor. Lift up your envelopes, let me pray. Eternal Father, my father was not a preacher. My mother was not a preacher. Several years ago, when you called me, you told me, Anywhere the soles of my feet will tread, out of that arena will spring for signs and wonders. Tonight, I have preached your word. I have prayed with your people. I ask in the name of Jesus that between now and the time this year is coming to a closure, everyone that is carrying an envelope, let them have a reason to testify. Let giant doors, strange doors, open for them like never before. And let the devil of their destiny be put to shame forever. I bless them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you. Please, if you can do it, do it now. If you cannot, tomorrow night, I will ask for it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Can we take our normal offering tonight? Can we pick our offering very quickly? Let's take our offering. Let's take our offering. Everybody, take your offering. Take your offering. Very quickly, take your offering. Take your offering very quickly. Reverend Mike, can they come and drop it on the altar? Please get up, just come and drop your offering on the altar. Take a very good offering, you come and drop it mountains. very quickly. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. There is there. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. hands together for Jesus. How many of you have truly been blessed tonight? Well, just give me two minutes of your time. I came with some of my um, books. I've written a few books. I brought a few. This is total consecration. This is total consecration. If you want God to help you, you know, to overcome the challenges of the body so that you can make heaven. This book, I took time by the grace of God to show us how we can overcome the very challenges of the body. Every man that Commit sin. Every woman that commits sin, you don't commit with your spirit. You commit with your body. Are you with me at all? So in this book, I put, by God's grace, how you can deal with the challenges of the body. Total consecration. Very powerful book. I also have here the fear of God. I said in this book that everybody says, I fear God. I fear God. You know, gradually it's beginning to lose its potency. You wait. When you are confronted with your greatest temptation, that is when you will know if you fear God. Are you with me at all? Uh -huh. when your wife is not there and another woman is doing shakara and you can overcome that woman then you know you fear God say I hear 
Then there is the presence of God. The presence of God. These books will bless you. So when we close, um, my daughter is here. She will just be at the, uh, the price. It's very, how much? 15 CD for one. 15 CD for one. So get a copy. My, my, my daughter will be at the information desk with a few copies. So you get a copy and it will bless you. Amen. Today and tomorrow. If you can't get it today, tomorrow, today will be here. But please get the book. It's not the money, but the import and the revelation behind it will change your life. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tonight. Let's receive our resident pastor. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. How many of you have been blessed tonight? What do we say to the man of God? Oh, I can't hear you. What do we say to the man of God? Hallelujah. Reverend Kingsley will be here tomorrow. In fact, today and tomorrow uh, is for him. So come tomorrow and I know your life will never be the same. Somebody say amen. Oh, I say somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Kingsley, God richly bless you for coming to minister strongly to us. And we know that uh, tomorrow God is going to use you and uh, our lives and destinies will never be the same. Amen. Well, a group of women have come together to provide us with some fruits every evening when we close. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for them. Let's put our hands together for them. So when we close, just go to information Dex B. Don't rush. Take your time. Don't just bundle everything. Hallelujah. Just take something and then, you know, enjoy it. Pray for them and ask God, God's blessings to come upon their lives. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Well, the good news is that the man of God is celebrating his birthday today. So we want to pray for him. And uh, we all know that in this church we have a tradition. So, well, we need two bottles of water. One for Auntie Mata, one for me. So, all right. Let's sing happy birthday for him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you now. 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 Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless and thank you for adding this glorious year to the life of your servant. When he was like a clot of blood in the mother's womb, Lord, you knew him. You ordained him, you sanctified him. Lord, we continue to pray that your hand of grace, your hand of favor, your hand of blessings will be exalted upon his life. As he's celebrating his birthday today, we pray for one thing, uh, that the heavens shall be open unto him, that your favor will locate him. Father, let there be the release of your fresh anointing upon his life, that Lord, uh, you shall cause him to see the manifestation of your glory as never before in the name of Jesus. That which, oh God, you have purpose to do in his life, uh, Father, let it be established in the name of Jesus. As his days, O oh God, so shall be his strength. We pray that between now and the end of the year, let him encounter a glorious miracle. Give him a testimony, O oh God. Prepare him for 2020, O oh God. Let 2020 be his year, O oh God. His year of lifting, his year of honor, his year of celebration in the name of Jesus. This evening, O oh God, will lift him before your throne of grace. And we dedicate him unto you one more time. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We commit his life, we commit his family, his wife and children, the ministry into your hands. And we know that you, O oh God, who have begun a good work and a great work in their lives, Father, you will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for him. Hallelujah. When we close, please come round, shake him, and wish him happy birthday, and then bless God for his life. Hallelujah. Rise to your feet as we close. Tomorrow by 5.30, we are starting with the prayers. By 7 o'clock, we'll enter into worship. 7.15, we are giving him the microphone, and then he will be on till about 8.30. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we close, just go to, go to Information Dex B and then uh, partake in the fruits that have been given to us by this group of women. Father, wherever these women are, we ask that you bless them and prosper them in Jesus' name. Amen. And now the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and the Lord forever give you peace. May the Lord grant you any message to your homes. May the Lord watch over you. Till we meet again tomorrow, may the Lord be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Come round and shake the man of God.